All right, hey guys, welcome in today. Got a super fast, quick project before Thanksgiving just to get out to you guys. Um, what I have is a thankful four. It kind of it's breaks down their most thankful four things that kind of separate on their sheet of paper by the four itself. So the first thing I get started, a uh, couple supplies, really basic supplies for this is just a ruler, paper, some Sharpies if you want to outline some of the stuff. And then I always put out my big bins of color pencils or crayons onto this. And it's just kind of a free fun day where kids can kind of reflect onto what are most thankful things for them. So for the four, for the four, um, I do a line down the middle of the paper with the ruler. Try to get it as close to the middle as you can. It does not need to be perfect. So that's the line down the middle. On here is about the size of the ruler. So if you kind of match up the size of the ruler onto the side, and then go about halfway. If you want to put kind of a middle little dot on your paper, just so you know where to go, go to about the middle, and then that line will go all the way across. Some people kind of misinterpret that and make that line going all the way down or make this extra line going all the way across so that it's a big plus sign. But there's a reason I want this gap over here that you can do your name on here. And some kids do it up and down, some do it sideways, some do it cursive. But if I, this was me, I would kind of do mine on the side going up and down. So if it was Mr. Shooty, I would do my MR and then S. Look at that, perfect all the way on the side, kind of going, I guess, vertical in a horizontal kind of way on the side here. This side, And then it breaks it apart into four different quadrants where you're kind of thinking of things that you're most thankful for. Now this can be art related, this can be family related, it just can be your life in general. I always tell the kids they can do one silly one if they want, like I really like cheeseburgers, so maybe one on here. Um, but I'll, I, this one I won't really do too much in front of you. I'm gonna show you a couple of quick examples. Um, I do this, I've done this with kindergartners all the way up to seventh and eighth grade middle schoolers, um, but a really good project just before Thanksgiving, as I said. This was one of my students from last year. As you can see, his silly one was the pizza, um, but I guess food would be a good thing to be thankful for. Um, his world, I thought, really good. And I love how they um, kind of do the details, and a lot of kids do really good at getting the start in pencil, or kind of outlining in Sharpie or crayons, and then then kind of filling up the background so that each section is a small little kind of picture or image in itself, kind of top to bottom using that composition. Sometimes they kind of decorate their names a little bit onto there. Um, but I just started one yesterday, kind of as my classes were doing this, um, and I started one on my own. And I'm just getting started on the coloring now. But really, if you're starting in pencil and then Sharpie, which I am thankful for a pencil. Obviously my art is over here. Shoes, I guess is one of my silly ones onto here. Outline it in Sharpie. And then you can start adding color, which I've started to do on my basketball. And then I definitely did for my family, or I guess this could be a house too um, that I'm thankful for. But I was thinking family onto that, but that's definitely how I want each section, you know, to be fully colored. And then I got my name onto there. So a really good project, as I continue to say before Thanksgiving break project, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button down below, and always hit that subscribe to get all my videos coming out every single week. Thank you guys for viewing. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Art Channel, and we will talk to you guys later.